the I will never ever ever jump on a on a call with the likes of yourself and pretend to be more technical or know your estate better than you. And I think that's a common mistake and a common change that is happening in the sales world at the moment. I think that we're now in an age where you do need to be technical to 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 become a seller. Um firstly, I'm seeing a lot of um vendors and a lot of companies actually sort of open up field sales roles of, of technical people moving over to the sales world and i understand why i understand that's the way that it needs to be so that's why with me being quite new into the space i am doing everything now to be, just to learn my product inside out so to bring this back to your initial question as to how do you sort of see the market i see the fact of like look a there is certain products out there that is an absolute need um like you see cloud security is dominating at this moment in time the likes of Wiz, data security will always be a big player application security as well um, obviously will be obviously dominating as well but there's always gonna be a need for, for, for other sort of stuff um as well it just depends on where you're at in your estate now to finish off on this I can never sort of like for if you do not need a CTI tool, then 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 then, then you're not you're just not ready for it, and that's fine because you are the uh, you're the SME in the organization, and you will know if your estate is ready for it. All all I can do is know my product inside out so that I can help you and ask you the right questions. Um, that they'll be like, okay, no, we actually are having a bit of a problem with our, our dark web monitoring at the moment or with some stolen credentials or whatever it might be. I've got to know my products for oh, about 30, 40, 50 different nuances that I can relate to your organization, whether it's financial, whether it's retail, and make it relevant to yourself. And be like, actually, yeah, we are, we're having a look at our threat architecture roadmap, uh, for example. Um, it might be good to have a look at your product. And then that that that's it. I, I can't come on call number one and be like, oh, I've got these magic beans that will solve all your problems. But there might yeah. be part of the product that is relevant to yourself, which means there's a responsibility on my side to know my product inside out to help you out. But if you're not ready to buy, then that's cool. I've done my job. And look, it might be six months down the line and then you come back in touch, which links back to, sorry, I'm waffling on now, so I'll finish my point, which is why it comes back to my time in recruitment, I know all about that relationships is key and timing is key as well. You might not need my product right now, same as when I was in recruitment. You might not be recruiting right now, but you might be in six months. So let's keep in touch uh, for when the timing is right. You can't force a product down someone's throat.